introduce the video, Drinka. Special guest. What? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> go, 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 go. That's, that's a good enough intro, yeah? All right, well, oh, this is it. It's the season finale of uh, of The Mandalorian. I'm Woo! excited. I, I don't know how you guys feel, but yeah. like, I'm pumped for this one. Can't I'm wait. Thrilled. I'm Woo! so thrilled. It's over. It's great. I haven't had this much fun since my last colonic irrigation. <laughs> Those are always pretty good. I See, the thing about it is I'll that a uh, colonizer. we <laughs> have been through the entire adventure as four. Drinker mm -hmm. here. How far did you get? Why don't you tell the audience? I got to episode three. And Yo. just rage quitted when we skipped over to Dr. Pershing and whoever his friend was. I was just like, nah, this is it. I'm done. <laughs> I can't deal with this show anymore. Which is funny. I was, I was pretty iffy since the giant alligator thing had started attacking the Mandalorians. <laughs> and then there was like a 15 minute battle scene of them just shooting pointlessly at it. So but the funny yeah. thing is, that's probably our favorite episode out of it's, all of yes, them. I, it's um, it's easily our favorite. Mainly because that storyline with Dr. Pershing, despite the fact that it has absolutely like almost zero to do with Mando, both in terms of story and like style. And content, it's a very bizarre little piece of Star Wars that, to be honest, doesn't fit with the rest of the season. It doesn't really matter, though, because the rest of the season is, as you'd expect, slash worse. Because if we were to quickly summarize it, that storyline is just about how Dr. Pershing gets screwed over and captured by someone manipulating him to try and... My assumption at the time would be to prevent him from continuing his research or something. We haven't really gotten... <laughs> I was about to summarize it, but I was like, I realized, like, we didn't really get... A conclusion on that. We don't really know why that actually happened in episode three no. yet. Yeah, we're not sure yet. They're setting it up. So, but, um, yeah, yeah, put a pin in that. <laughs> episode four. A big filler episode, if there ever was one. Mando uh, is chilling out with his Mando friends, and then Yo. a big old kidnapping space dragon thing just steals <laughs> a child. And it's it's hilarious. And the whole episode is just them trying to get it, the kid back. Yeah, they're really bad at it. Get they're the really bad at it. The like, worst, most incompetent way possible. What? If it's, a, if it's a big, like, monster thing, shouldn't it just eat the kid immediately? Is no, it, like, holding oh, them hostage or something? Funny you mention that. It's out. funny you mention that. Well, yes, it did it swallow the kid immediately, but... <laughs> Several days it later, regurgitated the kid, but and the kid was fine. Later. Yeah, That's I think that is that is a perfect metaphor for the storytelling of this show. It's like you've got a really simple thing: monster eats kid, but then you we have to spin it, <clears throat> we have to spin it out. So monster eats kid, takes it away, barfs it up, and then <laughs> there's a really protracted rescue sequence to, to get them before the monster really eats them this time. And well, it was the great. Is they they, fo they um, follow it halfway and then it go back to rally the troops and then go back at night. Refuel. Like, <laughs> and then remember it's like a long time. Like, like, yeah, it's lucky nothing like, happened in that interim. I <laughs> thought the drinker was going to go a different direction with that. Uh, with the, the idea that uh, it's sort of a microcosm for the Disney projects. They're just looking for things to regurgitate later <laughs> and show you that you remember i mean yeah but now can... it's all slimy and nasty and disgusting <laughs> i'd say that's a pretty good metaphor for it what's great no. about that really shit rescue mission is that they cut in a flashback of another shitty rescue mission in between it yeah that, which, which has also gone nowhere so far yeah the, we, so... Haven't, we haven't had any more on that in episode Wait, four, actually, we, remind we, me. I we don't had a, remember. We had a flashback of Ahmed Best playing a Jedi that rescues Baby Yoda from Coruscant. Oh, that's right. That's There's true. Basically, <laughs> zero dialogue. The action scene's super awkward. He has like all the plot armor in the world, and he gets a bunch of people killed without like any remorse. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a really weird set of scenes because you gain nothing from it in terms of substance. It's just like, look, Coruscant, Star Wars, Order sixty six. You like all of these look, things. This is the and I thought, Binks, honestly, the voice actor. Isn't that cool? It's like, I yeah, guess. I thought it was a little bit tasteless. How it at the end he says it's jarbin time and then he jar jars all over the <laughs> troopers I, so that I, was a little taste that's the one part i actually like so yeah it's, i think it was Fine. pretty cool <laughs> Not an echo i, I thought here, he okay. was gonna like i thought he was gonna get him clear of the tempo and then go we's a free <laughs> <laughs> he takes out his lightsaber and as it goes shink we said, going you said, home you said going <laughs> home oh yeah so that was the Perfect. wonderful episode four episode five remind me the other that one was with the grief cargo one. Was it's a grief yeah, with pirates, the pirates. Yeah. Oh, that was with oh, the that, pirates. That action scene, man, is like I feel like that was like a good fifteen minutes. <laughs> so yeah, the, stop the, the summary of episode five is Navarro, good old grief cargo's place, is attacked by pirates, and then Mando comes in and kills them all. That's the yeah, it's attacked by pirates. Yeah. After, he goes to visit grief cargo. Was like, you know what? No, that they, they're not gonna. No we're pirates will attack. They know we're respectable, and then they just shot with one ship, and that's enough to destroy the whole. <laughs> yeah, they annihilate yeah. Navarro. All the people are dead. <laughs> and then it takes maybe a few days for the Mandos to get there, and it's just presumed that they can help. As if yeah, like, like, the whole city 
hasn't been annihilated. There's no better way to illustrate this, Drigger, than, than a, a capital ship above your city just bombarding it with all kinds of artillery. And then he sends a message to some guy across the other side of the galaxy who then goes to Coruscant to ask if he can get some reinforcements, who then goes to the secret planet where the Mandos are and asks them maybe if they can help. We were just like laughing the because whole time. He was like, everyone's dead. They're, they're, they're dead. dead. <laughs> they're already <laughs> dead. <laughs> I just, I love, because yeah, yeah, this happens all the time in this season. It's like in the minds of the writers, like when you leave a scene, everything just kind of gets paused until yeah. you get back. <laughs> you know, so you can take as long as you need. It's fine. There's no sense of, uh, you know, a galaxy that's working and, you know, kind of with itself. Everything's very disjointed. You don't feel like there's any sense of, uh, of it being a living world. And it hasn't done for ages. Uh, do you know what kind of captured it, though? What okay. kind of did? Andor. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's worth noting in that episode is that there's a group of, like, fucking six pirates all being evil, doing their naughty pirate things, and a blacksmith lady <laughs> comes in and beats them with a hammer and comes. Because there's one of those every kill. season. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, she does. She's, She's rapidly hilarious. become the Freaking most embarrassing character, I think, in the show. With the yeah, stupid the fucking hammer. Character. Yeah. Part of the problem as well is that she's so integrated in all of these weird bullshit rules that they make up about, like, the Mandalorians all the time, because they changed the rules in this episode. Mm -hmm. Because Bo-Katan said that she saw a mythosaur, she gets to walk both worlds, whatever that means. Yeah. Right, uh, right, of course, yeah, so that's why Bo-Katan Bo can right. take her helmet off now. Yeah, so and this is, like, the part that starts to be like, Oh, is the goal of season three of Mando to like shift focus away from mm. this? This this was my assumption, and I I assumed, and I could be proven totally wrong that they were going to get rid of Pedro Pascal. Well, because he he's probably too wasn't expensive. available. So Mando season three and The Last of Us, I think, was shooting at the same time. So he probably wasn't even there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude, I yeah. can totally picture he's filming fucking Last of Us, and then he gets a call. They're like, "Can you say this is the way?" And he's like, "This is the way." And so, then they yeah, recorded cool, that thanks, through the phone. Know. They're like, yep, that's okay. That's most of season three done. Thank you. That's most of season <laughs> You mentioned the whole Bo-Katan and the Mythosaur thing and the Blacksmith Lady, which got me thinking that the Blacksmith Lady thinks that the Mythosaur is a legend and doesn't actually exist. And what this is, is this is implying that the Mandalorian Code has a just-in-case rule. Just in case the Mythosaur is actually real and exists, and you see it, then we have a provision that will allow you to change your Mandalorian code status if you see one, just on the off chance it does exist. Or well, she just made well, it up on the spot. Does Bo-Katan bring with her any proof that she saw oh. this with the sword, oh, no. or is it just, she just takes her at her word? Like, What's that, literally anyone else could needed... claim it too. I be like, because I, I was going to say, if you're going by they this needed... logic, right, Mando could just go away for like 10 minutes and be like, yep, yeah, so I went to Mandalore, bathed in the waters of life, and uh, yeah, I'm good to go now. Um, you just have well, to take my word he... for it, I've got no proof. Mando needed to bring proof back that he had been in the water. He had to bring the water specifically back, and it was a, it was a big deal. People were were very skeptical that he'd been there That's so true. he had to prove that he had the water however bo -Katan said that she saw a mythosaur mm -hmm. and no proof was required whatsoever no. a fucking she mythical it's like seeing a word. unicorn and we're like oh i believe you <laughs> it's like saying i've been to nebraska and then yeah, everyone's like, no that's not possible not you can't real. just go to nebraska no that's not it you can't go there it's cursed and, and, and then they require a lot of extensive <laughs> proof that I'd been to Nebraska. And then Jim over here says, yeah, so, um, yeah, well, I, well I, while I was in Nebraska, I saw a unicorn. And everyone's like, wow, I can't believe Whoa, you saw a unicorn. Crazy. That's amazing. Wow. I had no you idea. Can wow, take your Jim, helmet off now. You can take your helmet off. It would make the oh show infinitely better to have just one jealous character being like, I, 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 I saw one too. Yeah, we need a Frank Grimes in this <laughs> in this show. What just have Mandalorians guy's... ever done for me? Seriously. What have y'all ever done for me? I can't go outside. I have to wear this helmet on. None of my armor matches. I don't have any friends. I can never get my dick out <laughs> this is a what a shit shit community and so go with that bo katan's new mission is to combine the clans of the mandalorian which is so funny because if you remember in book of boba fett she said there were three of them left and then suddenly there was this huge faction of the stupid this is the way mandalorians yeah and then her older faction the one she was hanging out with in season two they're pretty big too there's a whole bunch of them now the, the... we have a big old ship as well she said Didn't she collected off and leave her Yes. Like, uh, they were like, they you don't have the dark saber. Fuck you, lady. We're out of here. She apparently stole a whole bunch of ships off the Empire, and they stole them off her then as well. So, anyway, that's the Jack Black episode. I don't even know well, how to summarize that one. That's, uh... don't, don't try. It's fine. That one just seems <laughs> like a waste of time for everyone. 
But at the end of it, Bogotar defeats Sky in combat, and so she's like, I should lead you. And he's like, nah, you don't have the dark saber. simple as that. And then Mando just goes, no, no, she does. And then, yeah. and then she has it, and it's like, yeah, here we go. The way it happens, we memed about it. We did. Because we, we made a joke about, Mando like, gets... oh, you know, there'll be some bullshit justification. Yeah. Like, well, you know, this happened, and then you technically yeah. got it. You technically got it. <laughs> because because <laughs> Mando gets, like, yeah. ambushed by some weird blood-sucking alien on, on Mandalore. One of the best characters in the season, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> One of the most then, interesting creatures we've ever seen. Interesting... And then has to be saved by, by Bo-Katan. And, and we, we said at that point, it's like, oh, does, doesn't she technically have the saber? now because he got beat by the guy and well, now she beat the it. guy you know it's like yeah like, yeah it was like, a joke yeah, yeah, sure, it was an and absolute then, joke and, then, and that's exactly yeah, how they did it in that episode and then you get that final frame of the episode where like she's got the dark stable and she's posing all cool and then mando's just off to the left yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. At the camera like, hey i'm here it feels <laughs> deliberately awkwardly framed it's just like at that point you're like Oh, okay. And so like, I get it now. he's officially a supporting player in his own show. And so from what I gathered from Star Wars fans, they were very fucking unhappy because they'd been getting nothing in terms of, like, substantive storytelling, and Mando looks like he's getting sidelined, which leads you to episode 7, where they all go to Mandalore, and, <laughs> I mean, the short version of that as well is just that they clumsily get themselves almost killed by, like, walking into Godzilla. Yeah. He's just there. He's gone now, though, I guess. That's also, funny. there's people living on Mandalore. They've been living there. Yeah, there's yeah, just, just Mandos the that have been land. on Mandalore this whole time as well. That poison planet that apparently they never escaped yeah. and told people that it wasn't poisoned. How long has it but, even been poisoned? Was it ever poisoned? I just don't... Uh, I don't think it was poisoned. It was like, covered in this weird crystal. They just kind of went with it wherever they did Like a half-life of a think. day, I guess, and it's already done. And I guess they were so unlucky that there was like not a single ship like underground they could have used yeah i just can't buy that you, it's a ship, no Bullshit. communication device no, no it's, there yeah. was a whole civilization here you can't just bomb all the technology away and so yeah. uh because i was talking with gary about this like there was some i think it was a super chat that said like oh i thought those uh manders they met up with were going to be like evil or whatever and i was like yeah i thought i thought like i i, I almost blanked them i was like oh yeah so mandos meet up with our our good mandos and they're they're a little suspicious but they're like oh you know we 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 serve Bo-Katan. It's like, uh-huh. And then they lead them right to Godzilla, and then they lead them right to the Empire settlement, which gets them all, like, captured slash killed. We'll get into that in a sec. But I, I was like, so they're evil then? It's like, well, I don't know. They never had a scene for that. They never no, had, not like, really. But I guess we'll find no, out no, in this episode. I think, I, think it's, I think it might just be incompetence. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just be standard. Well, they're they run into Godzilla, and then uh, yes, they I ran think... into Godzilla. Yes, yeah. They saw it. This they saw it like appear far seven, on the horizon, nine. and they went to it. They didn't this try is, to dodge, just, and just, when they started dodging, they dodged into the well, monster. Yeah, only at the they, they attempted yeah. to turn their ship away from Godzilla by the time they were right next to his fucking leg. They were like, yeah. oh, we should probably avoid <laughs> Godzilla. Removed. Whoopsie. About the eighth time in this entire show that we've had a giant monster living on a barren <laughs> wasteland planet. Yeah, yeah. just like... I'm what here, do hello. you eat? He eats honor, I told you. That's how it works. Oh, he eats honor, that's right. Yeah, and so and then there's just a huge empire settlement on, on Mandalore. It's an enormous base. And, yeah, they build it. Uh, oh yeah, this this one has massive world building implications because the big base is housing a bunch of uh guys, possibly Moff Gideon clones. Um, they all have Mandalorian all, armor, best they all have best guy Just armor. Say that again. And, and Moff Gideon clones. <laughs> No, yeah, oh no. Well, so the Ugh. thing is, like, I don't know if they're actually Moff Gideon clones. I think they are. are. That's what well, we'll, we'll find that's what out. I took away from the I more imagine. relevant part is they have Beskar armor, and then you know, there's there's none of these jetpack Mando stormtroopers with Beskar armor in the sequel trilogy. Yeah, you do get jetpack troopers, I think, in the sequel trilogy, but none of them have Beskar. Not, no, they do fly now, but yeah, yeah they fly, they but they Beskar. just die. You can't yeah, do they exactly. fly now if they flew flew before. <laughs> it's you ruined yeah, the but, sequel but, but, trilogy. Okay. How could it's you? The po, yeah, but Poe wasn't of... on Mando, all right? Jeez. All right, Poe. Po yeah, wasn't there. Fair. he may no, not it still be born yet. Work, yeah, I guess he probably is. But they, so you got yeah. Well, he would have been raised in the ar the army that has the jetpack troopers, and they pro they probably didn't invent that as a they didn't invent an air corps yesterday. So he would have been aware of it That'll the whole time. Now. It's really just it. It's really just a mess through and through, no matter how you really I actually look at think it. it's cataclysmic fucking damage to show Empire forces being like, wow, that Beskar's kind of neat. We should use it. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. never, well, ever, ever have them acknowledge that at this point. <laughs> we've, we've already yeah. seen like decades what? of Someone nobody wearing ever. Armor in Star Wars? <laughs> What? And the idea that your your random troopers now actually have bullet immunity or, or blaster immunity is just like, oh my god. 
And there's this scene, Draco, where an army of Mandos, all with, like, several with, like, guns akimbo, are just shooting at uh, stormtroopers that all have their armor as well. It's just everyone shooting at each other and no one's hitting anything. And it's just like... It's <laughs> uh... actually pathetic. But I've but... heard people like that episode, so... Yeah, because there's all the cool action stuff. It's what... so bad, I hate it. What can we say? There's a lot of stupid people in the world, I guess. And I'm one of them, because I continue That's to right. watch this shit. Yeah, so the ending is... Boff Gideon <laughs> traps them in a room, a room that you can get out of with the fucking lightsaber and bo has the dark saber. she just doesn't mm -hmm. use it for the entire like 10 minutes of watching. It's Mando, who is secluded, get beaten up by a whole bunch of stormtroopers at once. Which is kind of remarkable, he's lost his plot armor Yeah, it's, it's amazing. amazing. Well, <laughs> he used to be invincible, but now he's like, actually can be captured The baffling part is he still has his in-universe armor, like they don't take that's, it away from right. him, they leave it on. Yeah. Would have been it's a really totally good payoff to rip it off him and then kill him <laughs> That's how I feel. Do we I'm, need to take I'm so done with this character. Character. Well, Do we need so we, to we place be... bets on the helmet? They'll take the helmet off. They they must have gone. My bet would be they take the helmet off because Pedro is yeah. on unit for one episode. That that would be my assumption. Mm -hmm. So the big question everyone's on, on their minds now is: Will they kill Mando in this episode? Oh well, no. You forgot about Paz Vizsla. He died heroically. Remember? Who? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, it did be like that. Yeah, he's no, gone, the big and... Gatling guy, man. That's right, and he didn't even need to. He just kind of stayed there and died. Well, yeah. So he could have left. Drake, I can't remember if I fucking said this to you before, but like, uh, he's chunky Mando, and he's like, "All of you go. I'll stay behind and stop them. There's too many." And then he kills all of them. Yeah, <laughs> he just wins basically. Just but him. But then, we, but then yeah. we have those other special, I forgot their name, the, the red the armor. Praetorian so. God. Yeah, Praetorian the Praetorian Guard. Guards. And they just him. annihilate him instantly. Well, they're going to be a mini-boss this episode. They'll be uh, they'll be yeah. like a mini-boss battle. Hell yeah. Uh, now, that wait. brings us to the, to the one of the, the more interesting questions about, will, uh, about Mandalorian Season 3. Will Mando Din Djarin is, die? Because I feel I like that's, so. that's really possible uh, yeah. at this point. Well, last um, I spoke of it uh, with, I think, Gary, as I gave it a 50-50. I really have no fucking clue. I'm at 50-50. I, I uh, do not I, think they will kill him. I think that um, they, they want to keep him around. He might not be the uh, central character of the story, mm -hmm. but they're going to keep him around so they can bring him back later. Yeah, that's a bad like point. Hey, Pedro, you want to make some, some buckaroos here? Can you yeah, say this, it's like a this half way? Day like, of, here's here's half a million dollars to record, like, you know, exactly lines or so. Mm -hmm. um, I doubt. Well, what's the what's the potential for Bo Katan to get killed? Zero. Oh, Again, zero. 50, 50. zero. 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 <laughs> okay. Absolutely so no way in hell they kill her. No baby Yoda, they're both safe. Um, Blacksmith Lady, she has a possibility, but I yeah. think it's a much I think it's quite slim. Um, I've heard it mentioned. Well, grief, she went back to space, Kaga right? Possible, she went but to the... I don't see the grief cargo one happening. He's, I feel he, like I would have thought they would have had him here by now if he was going to be, you yeah, know, in the running. Also, that they, they've kind of put him in a position narratively where it seems like he can just sort of be the he's Navarro like, he's like a vendor almost Navarro for a while. I say in the, in the pro column of him dying, or rather, the, I guess the the likelihood. Like of it happening, they've moved him aside, and the Pedro Pascal doesn't have as much interest clearly in the show. But then on the con side, it's like, well, like you know, it doesn't take them much to keep Pedro Pascal. He can still gain money from it. They can move him to the side as Bo Katan's personal bodyguard or whatever the fuck they've set up. Uh -huh. And and they've said what their Mando plan is seven years or whatever. Right, I, big Mando movie. It's there is that working in favor of keeping him around because. Mm. You can't really have your big Mando verse movie with Mando's dead, I guess. And so, if instead of weaseling out with a 50 50, if I had to choose, I think I'm going to go with they wouldn't kill him. A lot of people really like him for whatever fucking reason. So, they want to keep him around so they can bring him back later and they can have him pop up here and there because they love their cameos. They love their yeah. look at who it is, look at who's meeting it. Maybe he's going to be a part of another Boba Fett thing. Who knows? But yeah, Ooh, they will, will Boba uh, Fett uh, turn up. Look, I, uh, we we do need a cameo. But look at look at it this way as well. We were talking about his commitment to doing Last of Us. Let's be real here. He's not going to be around after the next season of Last of Us. <laughs> oh, we no, don't know. Is he? So maybe he's going to have more time. They've they've talked about you know changes. They have. To, uh, There's implications. To, uh, that they've even said specifically his fate. So don't know what so that means. Could mean nothing, but we'll see. Uh, his fate is to be a part of the Star Wars universe, uh, Disney machine forever. <laughs> Since fate. we are uh, on the subject of the finale, something that I've I've noticed as uh, a potential overarching theme for this season of Mandalorian, if you can believe it, is like the notion of second chances. 
That's something that I've noticed as like a persistent recurring story element throughout the season of people getting second chances to do something. That's all I've got for it. I don't have anything more substantial <laughs> to, to glean That's the thing from that it. may be there. Anyway. Yeah, the, the references would be like Mando. Oh, I gotta... Because you remember how it's like, what, what are we doing in terms of Mando bathing in the living waters and getting redeemed? It's like, I think that's legitimately just it. Like, ah, see? Yeah, now he's got a second chance to hang out with his Mando group. And then there seems to be a whole big thing with Bo-Katan basically getting a second chance to, like, rule Mandalore. They had, like, Paz Vizsla kind of, like, going on a little redemption arc. The redemption simply being that he likes mando now <laughs> when he didn't like him um, before yeah and then there was uh there was like explicit references in the jack black episode when they're talking about uh like the lizzo character is talking about second chances with um with doc uh you know if everybody's made mistakes like what what about second chances uh, and then there's, like, the storyline with the, with, like, Pershing and the officer lady that's kind of, like, the, I guess, the negative sides of sometimes people can be given a second chance and then they still decide to do shitty things or somebody gets a second chance and then through circumstances kind of ripped away from them. That's about it. Um, that's it's just something I noticed. It's like, judging from all of that, is there gonna be some kind of payoff that relates to second chances? Like... I don't know. I would imagine they're like, no, see, we've, we've laid it all up, so now it's like Bo-Katan gets to rule Mandalore, so, like, that's it. That is that's just, the end. Yeah. Well, I think, so I think that's what it will be. Season 1, they uh, did their finale of, holy fuck, we've been chilling out, doing normal things throughout the season, quote-unquote normal things, and here come the Empire, a huge army, all these stormtroopers, and this new guy, Moff Gideon, who's dressed all in black, this is terrifying, what are we gonna do? By the time you hit the end of it, they're all dead, and he's assumed dead. Season 2, holy fuck, he's back. Has a new huge army. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, by the end of the thing, he's, he's done. And I can't believe we're actually headed to maybe do that again this season. Like, you can't be serious. Star Wars fans gotta, must have think, noticed uh, by now, right? I think Moff Gideon is around until the Mando movie. I don't see why they would ever kill him. It's a pattern at this point. He's back. He has an even bigger, uh, newer uh, army. Are you fucking kidding me? And they're gonna is, defeat uh, him by the end of this, obviously. Of course they will, because you're not gonna end the season on, like, a sour note. They're gonna win. But then he'll be back. He'll be back until It'll the movie and then maybe the they'll get rid maybe they'll get rid of him well, in if, the the, movie. if they've introduced clones yeah. that of course he'll be back <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right, right. you never get rid of him forever. exactly there's another theory going around that the armorer will be evil <laughs> <laughs> I, I find that no. one just funny. It's it's, it's Star it Wars hilarious. fans who are like familiar with what the horns on the helmet mean and, and all this stuff, and I'm just like they've never ever thought deeper than. She has a pretty cool voice. We should keep her in it. Yeah, back. I think it is. She's just apparently the cool blacksmith lady, um, yeah, and they want to keep her in just to relay lore. Basically, she is the lore dump uh, character. No way they suddenly make her evil. It's just I don't think so. No, no shot, no shot. She's meant to be cool. And then there's that's, <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> there's nothing else to speculate. So oh, really? this is the fun of watching modern Is Star Wars. Grogu gonna kill someone with his new baby mech? Well, he'll uh, do something with the Force in this episode because yeah, otherwise he's, he's the really evil one. Him. He's gonna betray Mando. Oh, that's something yeah. to mention. Yeah, Drinker, uh, Baby Yoda has an IG mech that he he sits in now and controls. Yeah. Oh, there, oh yeah, I've I've seen the pictures of this. Yeah, you can press a button that says yes. It's really no. funny because he pressed it a lot. Mando's goal was he wanted to restore his friend. Now they're just scuffling his corpse around. <laughs> he's, like really, he's really cool with that. Yep. That was weird. That like just how, sort of came like up. And... He, he just suddenly yeah. hated droids again in the <laughs> yeah. Because in episode, episode six, it's like they're doing Blade Runner, but they don't even know it. Where like you're actually raising questions, which they don't want to explore in the Star Wars world about the nature of sentience in droids. Just Mando is all of a sudden just pissed off with droids again. <laughs> this uh, trigger. This is part where he goes to like a droid bar, and the bartender is super normal and chill, and. Uh, ask him a question, and like I think mm -hmm. the bartender says something like normal enough, and then Bando's like, "I'm gonna fucking kill you if you don't give me a proper answer." So, like, that sort of attitude is just like, "Jeez!" Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And it's like, remember, Bando doesn't like droids. It's like, no, he does now. That's yeah, the, remember, you did the arc. I just love that there's a droid bar. <laughs> I love that was it. The, I love the funnest it. part of it. <laughs> it's fun, yeah. Uh, my favorite part of the episode. Yeah. It, it's like, um, yeah, it's really neat. And so now that you're caught up. You're, you're all ready to see this climactic finish that I imagine the internet is just absolutely lit up about. We I'm could even get a CGI Luke ready. Skinwalker. Who knows what we'll get? Oh, fuck's sake. I feel like Ahsoka might show. Ooh, Ahsoka, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Show, right? Imagine Coming the after credits that. scenes. I'm, I'm, my money's on Thrawn being like, I shall yeah, yeah, I avenge so. you, Gideon. <laughs> what has become of Dr. Pershing? Dr. Pershing 
was captured by the new republic. Did you hear? He saw the mountain on Coruscant. That was kind of, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The I didn't know that. Of course, you saw the mythosaur. Ooh. Oh, they look like Snokes. I don't, I guess, because we sold that as season two. I don't know if that's what they're so. working towards. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Shouldn't his arm be up in his hologram if he's holding that thing? No. Yeah. There's right. so many right. Mandalorians. Yeah. <laughs> look at that big ass ship. God, it's hard to believe there were only three last week. It's like, they were <laughs> they so much cooler quickly. when there was just like a couple of them and they were like this nomadic race. Oh, they've made them so lame in the show. Jetpacks. <laughs> Here they come, look! Empire Mandos! Oh no! What a horrible idea. It's JJ shit all over again, by the way. But what if we had Wee. lots of Mandos? And what if we had evil Mandos? It's an ambush! It's, it's an, an ambush! No oh, shit! <laughs> it's an ambush. Yeah, we followed them into the base, into these hallways, and they ambushed us, shockingly. We're Mandalorians, we're smart. I can't get over Moff Gideon just being like a, a discount Darth Vader. It's yeah. so derivative. He's a photocopy. He's really so shitty. Oh my leg. Oh my and to be fair, he's got his Mandalorian armor and jetpack now, so yeah, I think Gary's been calling him Boba Fring. <laughs> Boba Fring. Yeah. That's amazing. I like that's that. a good meme. They've Boba inserted Fred. more of their characters into this little intro thing. That's yeah. Blacksmith Lady. God, I hate Star Wars so much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, right back into bullshit. Let's do it. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm so excited though. Who knows what'll happen? I copy. Wait, wait, you're not flying all the way he back fly. to space. He's he actually flying into flying orbit? Out. He's not actually you doing no. that, right? No, <laughs> you can't do that, surely? Shot. You can't do no, that. You shot. ran out of fuel and go like a couple no. miles. To be How fair, if you go straight up, it's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm entering upper atmosphere, but I have my orders. The Why is he still atmosphere? able to talk to it? Oh, there you go. It's cut out Yeah, now. there we go. Okay. Finally. Yes. Finally. I, why is that surprising you? That was gonna happen eventually. Yeah. Why wouldn't you use like some of your sh I don't know. Like, I can't believe he's actually going to space. That's amazing. Yeah. I thought, yeah. He's just gonna jetpack to space. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what, is your, what, what are you doing? Aim and shoot. Wait, what, what is your point in shooting these guys? You're not gonna stop them with blaster fire. Well, they got him with no, a grenade. that looked pretty bad. Oh, that looked bad. That also looked uh, bad because there wasn't anything that happened. It just covered the screen. Hey, what's up, Mando? Oh, wow. So, Look at that. Is that what you always see? That's How are you going to justify not really killing him? Field of vision. How are you yeah. going to justify not killing him? Uh, they have no. two. They oh, brought immediately. Oh, really? Stop him. Is he actually just going to escape? Are you serious? <laughs> Wow. Is that just, oh my god. For real? Really? I think, I think he legitimately blocked that with the blade. <laughs> Why are there two of you now? Where's Moff Gideon? Why didn't you take his helmet oh, and armor? Yeah, what is wrong with all of you? Is the oh, cape made out of Beskar? Guy, but the flames made out of Beskar? How did his cloak not get set on fire too? It's Beskar. It's Beskar. Oh no, don't use the grappling hook again. Who will save you? No. No. How the fuck are you here? No. What? How, how did it, none of this make that sense logistically? How? Uh, yeah. Stop. What are you doing? Ah. Uh, stop. What is Why what is, is that? Is that like oil? Him. That's the. Uh, I think the that's healing the healing stuff, thing. Yeah. You just spray it at people in their armor, and it, it, it's armor, like a video yeah. game. You're a you're a medic. I'm just gonna spray you. The Resident Evil spray. <laughs> I can't believe we've. Done, so that's it. He's free I, now. I love yeah. it. That's it. All right. Maybe, Tension like, is resolved. Nice I love that Grogu can, still can't talk yet, and he's able to like manipulate a complex biomechanical droid thing. It's great. It's great. It's got like a day's warning. worth of practice as well. I just don't get it. The door was locked. Baby Yoda was with all of the Mandos, and then suddenly Baby Yoda's here now. Yes. Moff so Gideon you sent keep... two random guys to deal with Din Djarin. I just like why it just would have been so him. badass if you just killed him right on the fucking spot. Oh, I would have had a modicum of respect for the show. I really would have. Wait, why is everything Instead, falling apart? Moff wait, what... Gideon went to the Dr. Evil school of villains. Why is everything intent? falling apart? Yeah. yeah, why is it all why falling, falling apart? apart? I've got the kid. I escaped. It's like, how? I escaped. Oh, okay. <laughs> I escaped. oh he's got a jetpack now, too. Yeah, they wouldn't take off his helmet. They even took his, his whistling armor. birds, but they didn't take anything else. We escaped to the surface. I know what we can Hold up. Let's go this way. Wee. Oh, there we go. We. Oh, oh. Oh, that looks Time for a dangerous. space battle, everybody. The thing is, they've got a capital ship and about like 14 fucking starfighters. Yeah. I don't, I don't and see... they're all Mando, so they just. I don't, I don't see how these ships are gonna stop them. Remember when a bunch of Imperial fighters heading towards you was like a dangerous thing and you no. could die? And now it's like, oh fuck it, what are they gonna yeah, do? Mando and Bo-Katan destroyed. What was it? Like six of them in a dogfight? The fighters and bombers have launched. 
Their capital ship will soon be destroyed. That doesn't sound like him. No, they're not Moff Gideon clones, baby. Oh, so you're going to love this. The UI guys are working on it. Mando's the red <laughs> dot and then the little green dot. No. That's going to be his little I'll Grogu baby. No, I'll take care of him myself. Oh, he's going to do it himself. Oh. Yeah. You could have done that already, but you didn't for no reason. I like how he's got horns on his helmet. It's because he's cool. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really cool. Now, call me crazy, right? But if you want to keep Baby Yoda oh, safe, shouldn't he like be inside the chest? Like, like with, he should I don't be. know, what a great back on the bar, right? Great observation, be on the bar, right? yeah, If anything, it puts him at around chest level where people will be shooting. It's the most likely yeah. place to get shot. <laughs> How's that atmosphere looking, droid? Get me the location of Moff Gideon's command center. I'm sorry, I don't speak binary. Well, that's the thing about binary. Either you speak it or you don't. Wait. <laughs> He's asked the droid to do something, but he doesn't know what the droid's saying, so... He just assumes the droid's going along with it, I guess. Why yeah. don't you just have the droid... Give the droid a voice box? It's yeah. too expensive. What the fuck is happening? How could you do this? How would the Imperials not have seen you and shot you? Why isn't there you? any security? They're Fine. busy. Especially uh... now that you know Mandalorians are running around. What the fuck are you doing, droid? What? Why did you program oh, you it just wanted fear? to know how deep it was, I guess. Okay. It has curiosity of potential death <laughs> that it is in program okay. to investigate. We have time to be doing this. Fine. Only a 40 minute episode that is supposed to tie up everything. Hopefully there's no stairs in this complex. Oh, we can fly. That's right. That's, yeah. right. That's right. They thought of everything, right? They did. How about so that? They thought of everything. They thought of everything. R5, how are those schematics coming? You can't speak binary. It's lucky well, well, literally all he's they... hearing is beeps and he doesn't know what they mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's lucky that the clone troopers' jetpacks can just integrate with his armor. Like, they're yep. all compatible yeah. with each other. Great technology. You don't, have to, you don't have to worry about Weaver versus Picatinny or anything like that. It's just all, it's all compatible. Yep. Just shove them together and they just work. It just works. Oh, so great. It just works. He could have just said R5, one beep for it's done, two beeps for it's not done. Yeah, I know. No, that would yeah. be intelligent. <laughs> we don't do that oh, here, Rex. He's still flying into the atmosphere. He, there we oh, go, we're in space. He's in space. space. I don't believe it. <laughs> Am I actually to believe that his suit is really sealed against the yep. vacuum? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, that looks pretty rough. It's okay. Uh -huh. Send all available troops down as reinforcements. Leave the capital ship behind as a decoy. bo needs our help. Oh, I don't believe you. Are you Why, a spy? Yeah, what? That, he sounds like a fucking saboteur. I'll take care of the cruiser. Everyone go. Everyone get you out and leave me like in charge. Everyone. That sounds so suspicious. Sounds everyone really evacuate suspicious. the whole no. ship because I said so. He's going to die. He's going to have a... His, his, his arc is over. Yeah, he's going to blow them all up. It's a trick. Yeah, his arc of bo cool. He's going to die for sure. His arc yeah. of bo is cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's this, over for you. I, what are I you doing? You could have used oh, the capital my. ship. Dude, come on. They're all it's in space. It's a huge capital gonna... ship. It has, like, guns and everything, uh, right? Oh, oh. Uh, that's not the absolutely it's horrible. Trip, right? but it's okay. close to it. I just at don't... Get look ships. at all these ships. They could have fought the Empire. Yeah. I don't understand. Oh, look. It's going to be a big epic battle, guys. Isn't it exciting? Yeah, I, but they're I, all underground, so... They, they outnumber and outclass them on individual unit levels. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Uh... So, is I Why didn't you fight them? You're gonna no, lose a capital ship for no reason. The they didn't see them. Wait, they what? didn't see them through the clouds. Yeah. And you never bumped into each other or your radar. That's fucking or... amazing. Holy I, shit! Oh, I they, they, this guy dude, they're legit sacrificing the capital ship for no reason. Damn, that's really bad idea. So stupid. Where are your? Do you know good capital ships are? There's capital ships. Things. Things. You don't want to yeah, lose do it. Yeah, do not have you like where the, you really don't have shields for your ship? Nope. Look at it. It's kept fucking minced. Why did you Why do this? Why is it getting destroyed so much? You have like anti-air lasers there everywhere. Why is How are all those turrets operating? Why is he still do in have... there? Just leave. Yeah, yeah just why leave. is he in there? Just fuck off. That's so fucking dumb. So wow. Shit. I don't I, even know I what to do with that. that. Dude, when Bo-Katan finds out that they sacrificed the cattle ship for no fucking reason, <laughs> she'll be like, why? Like, the one with all the fuck off cannons on it? The one that took ages to capture? Cool, thanks. What are we, are we doing like Metal Gear Solid? What is this? This is Metal Gear. So this like, is why we did that stupid laser room then, because we have an action scene for it. R5. There's some barriers. Oh, fields. and they're gonna get stuck. It's gonna be like in the Phantom Menace. Uh, but he doesn't even know if the droid can do this. Is doing it. Uh, I think this panel gives him, two him control over. <laughs> Why can't you just deactivate them all at once? Because so he needs to fight them one by one. He can't fight them all at once. Even though they oh, can, they'll just deactivate the shields themselves and then attack you. So did I just like stand there all day? Yeah, I guess so. You just punched it oh, in the well. fucking helmet. Why do they keep doing that? Open the shield! Open the shield! Not They're just the actually standing there. They're just standing there all day. Shit. Wow, oh, fuck off. You okay. suck. <laughs> this is not working. So the droids disabled them from accessing yeah. it and it's controlling them. Wow. R5, next shield. 
This is a video game. Oh, man, you really shit. are con you are really confident they're really, and these guys really. suck. Look, he's using the zappy thing. Oh look. Don't you love Mando? Like, shouldn't these guys be calling for backup yeah, or something? You think like, yeah. Yeah. Like, get people to Not attack. Not like it would behind. do them any good. Well it wouldn't do them any good, but you know, yeah. who thought it would. God, oh, they all how suck. That, what's the logistics of that? Go on, shoot punch me in the helmet again. Why do would it. you get rid of the melee weapon when it's been working so well inexplicably? Uh oh. It's the the true epic confrontation of the show. Part five, six shield. No, wait until. Oh yeah, you haven't killed that guy. guy. Yeah, you haven't. Care of. Part five, six shield. I don't think you needed to do that. Yeah, Sorry, this mouse droid was anything? standing there. Yeah, it was standing well, there. Well, he, you know, it was just bravery there. Off. He's brave now because sure. he's the nerf droid, and now he's he's doing a little. What was that? Why would you do that? How did that Why'd work? That work? Why did that work? Or is that oh, they if, that's the tune. Concussive, if that concussive force, you're not allowed to do that show. You're not allowed to actually have the the, the things have force. <laughs> this Otherwise, show will do as much bullshit as it wants to, Fringy. How dare you? But then, well, that but the recoil, oh no, more of the uh, things that don't do anything. Oh no, can, there's more fly. mouse droids. You can fly just away. Them... Just just oh, take off. Oh my off. god, what the fuck, Empire? Oh, what are you doing? In. Oh no, you're just oh, bumping into him. The, what was the point of that? What was the point? Oh my god! How did you ever take over the galaxy? I don't think they didn't at all. It was all a fucking ruse. Boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, yeah, oh, there's the Gideon Gideon clones. Clones. Yes. Why wouldn't you have it be like a, a healthy 30 year old? One of them should open a chicken chain. Is Moff Gideon not concerned that there might be like, if these clones would fight him, right? Because if they're just like him, they'd have ambition for power. No. Oh, Why this show is not going to fucking do that, Fringy. Don't, don't <laughs> you. Don't even go there. Is one of them going to dramatically open his I eyes? I cloned everything but, except oh, yeah, my yeah. ambition. Come on, do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Do it. Uh, is it going to open dramatically? Oh my god, they oh! even did the music. <laughs> Every time. Why are you making those moves? Are you controlling the robot to like put its arms out and look oh. all scared? Wait, what? Wait, what the hell's awesome. going on? Oh shit. That, just, that can't what? be how they open. No, he just detonated them, I guess. Why? Oh, why this, this, you this, obviously, you, whenever you. Why is that? Like, like the, why is that the way of killing them? Couldn't you just like shut down their life support or something? Uh, you have to blow up like, the entire room. Why did the like, mean that you have to mop up the entire room? I think most people, when they're making their own clones, install a little. Self destruct. Wow, you can even grow plants and stuff. Why are we doing this now? I hope now? Binjarin's okay. This yeah. was like, this is this is previous episode <laughs> stuff, guys, not finale yeah. stuff. Do you live here? We have hideouts and food caches throughout the surface of the planet. Well, why don't you bathe? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know what it Engine is. But farms like the is weird. here. It's so clear to me that you aren't where you are. And like, you're in a very small space too, so that's yeah. baffling. This is our farming set. We cultivated farms. Life persists. Yeah, I get it. You can't stop yeah. Mandalorians. They're just too cool. I never knew the surface could still sustain plant life. Well, it does. Why wouldn't it? Like, actually, what was preventing plants from growing? Because. They're literally just telling us stuff that we can already see. It's like, that whole scene was completely pointless. <laughs> How else are they going to fill time, Brick? What the fuck? So much. Oh, this is reinforcements for We've got all of our fighters and space. our capital ships. Well, yeah, what's... Yeah. Now, wh where were they go? Are they going to go attack... Off Gideon? You can make a little ceiling <laughs> sound, but there's just nothing for the helmet to connect to on the neck, so, like, yeah. don't even... Yeah. What do you mean, right? Is it not enough for it to go shweep? Maybe it's just a sound... It's literally just a sound effect whenever you put it on. Yeah. Or maybe <laughs> they're making that sound with their mouths. They're actually no, doing they, they, they can <laughs> actually fly as fast as ships. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, I wonder when those jetpacks would just a little boost so you can get to, like, higher uh, spaces. Oh, do you have... Wait, so look at this. Okay. If armor lady's coming with us, she's gonna need a gun, right? Is she finally gonna use no, a fucking gun? No, she has her hammer. You can't. There, look, she's got him there. See, look, they're on a there. You are fucking waist. joking that she would use a hammer in flight, though, right? Like, she's gonna need <laughs> you someone give her. Oh, she's using oh, a sword. They thought that was really epic, didn't this they? The, they thought that was fuck cool. It, hell. Oh, 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 oh my god! god. This, this is JJ so from Star Wars. This is all this is. <laughs> yeah. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Uh, what are, what, god. Are they actually just gonna fucking shoot? What? What's happening? Oh. oh my god, she's actually gonna <laughs> use the yes, hammer? The fucking hammer? You oh are joking god. me. Oh no. 
Oh, what the f- What the fuck? This fucking insanity. My brain. I can't have that. Look at that. Oh, what the fuck? How is this show real? What? Can they ever go further than that? Here in a fucking jetpack killing stormtroopers with a hammer. What the fuck? Why did you do that? In Jaren, you've caused me so many issues. It's time that I stop you. In Jaren, how did you escape? Did those two troopers not take <laughs> care of you? My clothes. We're finally going to be perfect. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's he's upset because you killed all the his The best friends. parts of me, but improved. The best by adding the one. I gave my cock I three never. more inches. Wow. The force. I was isolating the potential. To wield the force. Did he and just say he right? gave his clones uh, the force? <laughs> yeah. Like, isn't that literally what he just said? I mean, I guess that would be something that Empire, evil Empire science would do. What is that? We what do you injected them with the force? What does that even well, yeah, mean? Yeah, like the, the force gene right? from. Oh, you missed his head, you fool! I gave <laughs> them the force. Isn't he supposed to be ego driven when he wants it, though? I guess yeah. it makes sense. Oh, like an army of you. I don't fucking know what's going on anymore. Your 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 souls on your feet there don't have a lot of uh, traction. <laughs> What's this with so the epic? robot noises? Well, remember they had the dark troopers in uh, the last season, right? So is maybe he's incorporated that into his armor. Oh look, the mandos are oh all flying. Oh my god, in the they're the background. Just flying so around. cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh look who it is. <laughs> I, we were waiting, waiting in the they, they were, were way waiting. behind the little zone. boxes and oh, spoke. We were, we were just God. on break. We it's weren't great. doing anything. For some reason, so I'm guessing shit? they're gonna like. Oh, God, it's so slow and clunky as well. No, oh, no. Right, baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's over. gonna do something crazy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on cue. Wah, wah. Sir, would you like no, us to do anything about that baby? No, finished in Jaren. I like how they turned around. That wow, they're, they're, they're all running off to kill the baby. What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? What, what is happening? No. Yeah. They just gave I, up. <laughs> wow, they're back. I love that the missile just goes punk. It doesn't fuck up what are you jet doing? Pack or anything. Are oh, they actually God. trying to bait that baby Yoda will die? No fucking way. Of course he won't. <laughs> You'll do some crazy force stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I've oh, been shot. Stop showing so that the battle. Not this is... Whoa. Why would that do but anything? But that doesn't do He's anything. They have oh, they hit each other too. It wouldn't be Stormtroopers oh, without the fucking... Please, stop showing it. Stop, stop showing it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> You're actively killing Star Wars right now. <laughs> She's hammering Star Wars to death. <laughs> this is Star Wars. Wait, what? Uh, what was the point of that? Oh, uh, knee rockets. Knee rockets! Knee rockets. No. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, what? there's an infant in here. What is it's happening? <laughs> Why is this Star Wars? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going <laughs> on? Oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> trying to kill the baby. I like how his arms are straight down. He's not actually moving He's his He's just wibbly wobbling around. like a little puppet. Why doesn't the fire set his fabric on fire? Most of his armor is Beskar. Most of his, he's mostly <laughs> wearing fabric. Beskar Look. fabric. Look at fabric. Beskar fabric, of It's course. just like John Wick. Please kill him. I'm begging you. <laughs> Please. How <laughs> is this fight cool. still going? Oh, Dan, I can oh, join you in the boss fight. Somebody gotta help. Yeah. Why didn't you Dude. hit him with the fucking dark saber? I don't know. You Why moron. You hit him that's with like the, the one saber. thing. I've got this. What's it gonna be this time? Surrender or fight? I can beat you with this time because I have I've the plot on my saber. side. <laughs> oh yeah, well I have this dick thing. Oh my god. What is this uh, thing? I have the purple stick. I have the black sword. I'm gonna slice gonna you, you up. up. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna, we're gonna fight nah, for this Mandalore. Music, this music is doing Why? so much Why? Stop work. showing this. I'm begging you to stop showing uh, this, please. Uh, <laughs> 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 it looks like little noodles. It's like Jerry, kill, Jim, kill, Adam. Kill, that's kill, no! Don't they have Beskar? Wait, they don't have Beskar? No. You gave Beskar to all the fuckers and you didn't listen, give it to these it's, guys? it's either cool red armor or Beskar. You, have to you can't have it be cool it. red and Beskar. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Man, man. Nobody cares. Oh no. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Who even is oh, that? Yeah. Okay, that Why did you show right. me that? Just action here, action there. It's all this action. <laughs> He's all like, I, I gotta kill that baby. Of, uh, fucking baby's Why, been why is he only lives. able to just shove people around? Couldn't you just crush them with the power of the force? <clears throat> no, it's not allowed. Well, he, he, he strangled Gita Carano the first season, but he's not doing that to these guys. He just hates it's women. not angry enough. Oh, I'm what? so bored. This sucks balls. You did good, kid. Shut up. This is the way. You miraculously weren't killed oh, 18 times. Ship. Look at it, guys. <laughs> is is he still leave. in there? Let's Jump out of it. Leave. Jump out of it. Leave. <laughs> leave. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not driving it. Boom. Koska, come in. Is he actually just gonna? I had to go down with the ship. This is my emotional Another happy moment. Landing. Is he, oh, is he gonna crash it into They're the base? Everyone now, the underground. Yeah, Bro, yeah, you don't even know if they it. can get out. <laughs> like, you're like, dude, I'm you helping. Committed. You've committed, my dude. You should have messaged to them sooner. <laughs> Remember that plan we Being didn't near, have, everyone? Having her near the ledge doesn't mean anything, though. She's got a jetpack. Yeah, yeah, she can, yeah, she can fall off. It doesn't matter. Is, is he? Is he like legit trying to just fly us into this little crack and destroy the whole base like that? Is that the idea? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, great deal. Hey, why does he want the dark saber so much? Oh, it's 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 cool, it's cool, right? It gives you like five plus cool putting points. Just make another one. Oh, that was oh. easy. You you oh, did he break the dark saber? He broke the Thank dark God. saber. God. Thank oh, God. Oh, that's, that's How? actually. He did that with his oh. hand. Oh, well, that's... your hand is destroyed. Oh, hand. What? <laughs> did he just Mock break you. your hand Thank then? Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, the, the dark hand. saber is gone. <laughs> the dark saber no, is yeah, there. It's just broken. You've lost everything. You can just do that, apparently. Okay. With his hand, is he, his are his bones not destroyed in a hand, then? Mandalorians are stronger together. Shut up about Mandalorians, for fuck's sake. Right. This, is what, this is all they never know how to do. Their big surprise yeah. reveals are just guy you forgot about. Is he still in there? Fucking oh, yeah. leave! You cannot Please. do anything else! I feel oh like my god, it's not gonna make it oh, wow. It's like seconds. Oh, oh, oh wow, so he's not gonna die. He did okay, leave. cool. Well, that was oh. easy. Took his time. Yeah. What, he's an Imperial traitor. He's actually he trying to fly in there. The... Oh, the... oh I was shit! Damn. Damn. What, what was what that plan, dude? That's a Wait, so horrible he's just, plan. Well, he no, may as well have well just killed dead. Mando, Baby Yoda, and Bogota. Yeah. 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 What's it? Oh it's already God. inside of the canyon. What's wow. with all the fighters that are still in space? Are they coming uh, back? We've, to be fair, we've been waiting for a big oh, yeah, force moment from a certain around. baby. <laughs> Can you shoot her in the fucking head, you dumbass? <laughs> She didn't even keep the shield above her head, like, you know, in front of her head. See, they work together, everyone. Yeah. How is it big enough to fit in there? No! You know, she's she not dead. gonna do anything. Nah, no, no, Scott, he's still alive. He's dead, but they're not. He'll be fine. No way. See him next he'll season. Yeah, but he'll, he'll, he'll be, he'll be horribly scarred. Because of the force be rags. It'll be thousands and thousands. Look, there's the force power. We wow, did it. That is an insanely powerful move. That Mandalorians are stronger is. together. And Baby Yoda. Oh, no, it's Baby Yoda for Mandalorian. Should, like, the platform that they're sitting on be vaporized as well. Uh, like, uh, yeah. it's not just I the flames know. going past them. I would expect the whole cave to collapse in on them, but it's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's a massive capital ship that's just... Exploding okay, how in long, the interior how, of a cave. How long do we need Everything to do this? How long do we do this? Imagine like, this. This is a good hour. <laughs> like in Baby Yoda stuff. Like Jesus, I gotta do it for that long. Okay. Wow, you are absurdly strong. Nah, that's fine. Totally fine. He's the chosen one, probably. Well, wow, that place held up pretty well to so that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, not bad. It was only a capital ship. Oh, we're done. Okay, nobody died. That's okay. we did it, everybody. Oh yeah, shit. Is that it? Really? Yes. We're gonna get like maybe a surprise. Oh, wow. Someone gets stabbed in the back orders. or something. Everyone goes to have a little bath. Everyone gets a little slip into the water. I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors. I swear on my name. And I really couldn't care less about this bullshit. Did they give so him a way bigger up? visor to make him look more like a child? Remember, he is the son of the great Paz Vizsla. Ragnar Vizsla. Sure is. I'm sure he will be a great character in the sequel, sequel, sequel trilogy. I'm sure in 30 years when children are learning, <laughs> it does not even touch in him. <laughs> it's just grown off his helmet. It looks so fucking stupid. They have okay, the armor go hitting people with a habit. Oh, and baby Yoda's are going to bathe the in the looking waters. Oh, Where right. the fuck is his helmet? The baby Yoda didn't see, didn't see the mythosaur. What's his fucking excuse? Are they going to have a little baby Yoda Mandalorian helmet? <laughs> <laughs> Grogu is my apprentice. He is no longer a foundling. Okay. Well, but then he does have to have a helmet, right? He is too young to speak, so he is too young to take the creed. He must remain a foundling. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, back I'm still, wait, 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 I'm wait, still so speak? Honest. If his parent gave permission, couldn't he then become a Mandalorian apprentice? No, because then every fucking Mandalorian parent would mm. do that, you dumbass. Then I will adopt him. 
as my own. When you already adopted him? That's like, yeah, we already, that's like what you have done, yeah. been, been doing. I mean, if you want to sign some paperwork, this, sure, it doesn't change anything. Is How is, this is, nothing's what changed. This is not the way. This, this is <laughs> absolutely not the way. Let it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. How is this new? We know. We know. Yeah, it's been we, like that forever. We assume, yeah, we assumed yeah. that was, you know, yeah. the way it was. <laughs> so he wasn't? Yeah. You okay. are now is this meant to be like Din a big payoff? Din Grogu? Should Din be Grogu, Grogu Jaren? Din Grogu. Din... Well, maybe, I don't not know. Grogu Jaren? But that's not how the names in Star Wars work. They'll be like... Yeah, because her, her name is Kreese, right? Her last name is yeah. Kreese. Yeah. It's House Kreese. Yeah. So he his would be Bo-Katan uh, Grogu. He'd be Grogu... Uh, wait, I forgot his last name. Din Jaren. <laughs> Grogu mm. Jaren. Yeah, it should be Grogu Jaren, not Din Grogu. What yeah. the fuck? Is that something like Obi-Wan calling his that. son Obi-Wan John. <laughs> something. It's like, it's what? They're gonna show the Mythosaur. We're Ooh. gonna do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Mythosaur, Mythosaur, baby. Yeah, you'd think Mythosaur. one of the other guys there would be like, I'm gonna go have a look, by the way. I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. have a look. She said you. she saw one. I just want to check so I can take my fucking helmet off. Oh, there he is. Yay. This means something. I was about I, to say they show that yeah. like it means something. I don't know. It's just a fucking weird yeah, Godzilla I monster. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've done the boring scene. Now make something happen. Make another crocodile attack. <laughs> oh, they waste more fire. E it's epic. the great forge in uh, which we forge, can craft yeah. theme. Wow, they like actually think they've accomplished anything. Meanwhile, or, I know, or right? Worthwhile. What do you mean they defeated an army of <laughs> evil bando? Oh, this is the way. Oh, look, there's loads of flame things now. Yeah, there's now. so many little flames. We can waste them all. Is that like a, is that a Mando gesture? Wakanda forever. Oh, yeah. Commando! Oh, oh, shut the fuck up. They you wasted the capital ship, you prick. Commando! Y'all suck. They really do. Well, we haven't had a cameo <laughs> proper yet, right? Like a proper super duper big cameo. Who's yeah, he gonna make? They better be careful. If they don't have cameos, people are gonna think this is a bad mm -hmm. episode. Oh god, that walking looks terrible. <laughs> he's, not Shut even, up. he's not even touching the floor. He's just floating. Let me buy oh, you. Oh, last day Floaty. Cowboy hat man. He okay. really is. Uh, here I am over here, fucking ruining Star Wars. Saving Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, right. <Rex. laughs> Your kid sure likes the trophies. Well, he looked at them for two seconds. One of them reminds him of someone he knew. I have a business proposition. Give me ten friend. bucks and I'll leave. I'm gonna call this season four. <laughs> this youngling is my apprentice. What does that have to do with me? I'm a bounty hunter by trade. Oh, well, I, I mean, you liar. <laughs> now that he's with me, I'll be more selective in my assignments. No, you have a bid, though. Yeah, what's the last bounty? You've been bringing him in? into danger. You don't have the resources to protect the Outer Rim, let alone hunt down Imperial Remnants. And I need work. You're going to be more selective and therefore go after Imperial Remnants. <laughs> you want to work for the New Republic. On a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah, but he's a bounty hunter. Yeah. 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 You know, this is against regulation. It'll never get approved. Why would you? Why would it be against regulation to have independent contractors when that's exactly what you need? Well, and if you know it's what? against it regulation, then you can't pay him. How is he going to pay yeah. him? Is it own money? All I require is a small advance. What I want in return is that. Wait, is this even his bar? <laughs> Can you just take that? <laughs> yeah, the guy in the bar is like, no. It's mine. Oh, <laughs> no, it's just get a fucking unit somewhere else. We, this is a just, fucking no, unit. No, we're the payoff. We've completed. Just, we defeated the uh, Empire, so you couldn't come in here and take my shit. the IG shit. unit. They fixed him. This is going to be so incredible. I can't wait. I want to give you this deed to a cabin where you can lay low with your new family if you choose so. Between adventures. He's even saying yeah. adventures now. It's like Rick and Morty. Wow, you, cl you cleaned up this place really nice. You almost forget yeah. about yeah, thousands almost forget. of perished. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a fucking wasteland the last time we saw it. <laughs> Yesterday. And I have a gift for you as well. It's IG11. Right, and he'll be like their mask. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I am, I am genuinely blown away by how invested the writers seem to be in this fucking character yeah, that insane. nobody cares about. Well, look at how retarded everyone is. A robot shows up. I am your new marshal. And they're all just like, <laughs> hey, Rex, Rex, they just went, they basically just quadrupled their defense budget. Like, it's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's his little home. God, buy what a bigger What are we doing? What? I don't. Sake. What's happening? He's just chilling. Down. Okay. Bad does having to sit down. <laughs> What's- is there gonna be some scene of Stop, like- leave them alone! Leave the leave frog the alone. alone! Oh, so this is their little happy ending then. But it- but... Damn, so like that probably is That's the end it. for Mando, right? They've shuffled him off to just be in his own little- 
What we go? They, they did exactly the, uh, what I thought they would do with him. Yeah, in a sense, they really did. I, I don't know why I even expected more consequences than nope. what we got. Nope. Yeah, the, what was, what was the point of that season? <laughs> what yes. was, wow, Mandalore. To set up they're, the Mandalorian. Mandalore, Mandalore is just fixed, now. and the yeah. Mandalorians have it. Okay. Great. I'm I'm happy. That doesn't make it. This doesn't do any problems. Damn. Do you, for do you the think future. people are happy with this? I'm curious. Yeah, I think I, I don't this think this shit. is enough. No, for, I, I mean like you reckon? I don't think this is enough for Star Wars fans. They 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 were, you needed more like arbitrary uh, substanceless events to happen. Like they needed, for example, Boba Fett <laughs> to just turn up and shoot things for uh, yeah, some more kind of arbitrary mean, uh... substanceless <laughs> events. You, I'm like 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 Thrawn saying hello. Like yeah. the fact that they haven't. I don't like Star Wars fans are gonna be confused. <laughs> like yeah. Well, because the problem is, like, how was anybody meaningfully getting invested in the story of going back to reclaim Mandalore? Because that's really all- that's all you got here. Mandalore's and amazing! Look, she's got a gun! She's got a gun in the concept art! Oh, she's got a gun! Art, yeah. It shoots hammers! <laughs> why, why is the concept art always so much better than the reality? Yeah, because they're the people who work hard. Yeah. yeah. Because the concept <laughs> artists probably give a shit. They're like, oh, I could make this idea look cool, and then the episode happens, and it's the lamest <sighs> shit. Like, damn, well, at least my art gets shot. Up in the end, because you know, I, I like it. I don't believe Gideon's dead. <laughs> no, 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 no way. Way. shot. Yeah. And I, I can't have actually, more they did it somewhere else. three times the exact same finale. Man, three you know times. what? Looking like this is actually, I don't know why we thought Mando was gonna die. Actually, now that, uh, yeah, no, that. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This, this is like he we was should never have gonna die. No, like, I, I actually is basically a fairy tale ending. I'm now starting he's to think that even if Pedro Pascal refused to come back, they wouldn't kill him. No, I think he, uh, I think that what they've done there might actually be their way to. Or Luke him. I think yeah. that's just the end. That, that could be him, like, shuffled out of the show. He lives Yeah, they'll bring him back if they need to, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They'll bring him back. What, are the ratings down? To. Bring back Din Djarin. Right. They look Otherwise, like that. Ratings are down with be... him. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it'll either be that like subsequent stuff for him? Mando will be other characters, or they'll just do different shows. That might be the arrangement. This is so funny in a meta sense, though, right? Because they committed yeah. at the end of season two. We're finally changing the format. We're breaking him up. He's going to go bounty hunting. They did that for a couple, like what? Not even a, anything. They did it. For, they, they did, did it for, it for one nothing. episode, yeah. and then they were like, which, by the way, episode. was probably the one episode we gave like an okay score to out of all Mandalorian yeah, episodes. That was one of the, it was one of the better episodes of this mm -hmm. selection because it's just we get to see Mando in less familiar situation. But um, they couldn't commit, and so they've actually undone uh, it and made it a permanent state that he's just chilling out with Baby Yoda and they're just having fun on their little yeah. ranch or mm. something. Yeah, uh, I don't, think, just, I don't it, think people will be happy with this finale. I don't think so. No, this is... I don't uh, think it had enough. This fails <laughs> for us because none of it made any fucking sense, but it fails oh, for yeah. like the vast majority of people because nothing interesting happened. Gideon's was, just... It, Gideon's just... Cubs and dies, Cubs dies, Cubs dies. Like the... Yeah, the, there's no there's no emotional investment in any of it because it's like Mando's fighting Gideon again. Like, I don't care really who wins. I don't get any sense of like why they particularly want to beat each other. It's just, well, we're enemies. Well, I guess they're, they're we just opposing, fight. That's it. What are their opposing values other than Mando thinks it's like good to be good? Good and, and Gideon's like it's uh, good to be evil. Gideon thinks it's good to be evil. They don't really have any directly opposing like central values that they can have clashing in these confrontations so that they mean more than just who wins the fight of punching or shooting or swinging the sword. Because that's always what it comes down to is who's like the best at doing that. Like you pointed out, Muller, like when these fight scenes are all the same. It's like the main character's taking a beat in. Oh, looks like he could be in trouble here. And then how's he going to get out of it? It's always the other character that everyone just everyone is there. For the past few minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we know they're there. We know they're going to show up at the crucial moment. And that's it. It's just the same thing happens over and over again. It has become very clear with this season in particular how much they extend like everything that happens in this show. It's little things like scenes that are three, four minutes long that maybe convey 30 seconds worth of information because of these protracted pauses between each, not even each sentence, like within each portion of the sentence. But then you have like this where it was, that was like 40 minutes. What really happened in that 40 minutes? Oh, um, they uh, fought. The they the fought. Empire got defeated. Yeah, they they the, the big army fought the big army and lost, and the, yeah. the main bosses fought the main bosses, and the bad guys lost. And they fought the army in ways that, on its face, seem substantively different. But like you know, oh, they're sneaking through the base. Oh, now they're flying around and they're having a. They didn't even have a dogfight with the uh, the interceptors. Just left. yeah, they just disappeared. They yeah. just were think... done. They we did uh, our was, job. We're yeah, gonna go uh, and collect our pensions now. Do you think when you saw Return of the Jedi, those Praetorian guards for the Emperor leaving the room or whatever, you're like, one day you're gonna see three of them fight a baby.
<laughs> that was the funniest thing when he's just popping around, around on the, the little I, light fixture above them and they can't get him. And they're just like jabbing their I, I don't know what to say about that. Like, did you not realize when you were you? filming it that this needs to not happen? We can't do this. Well, do you ever think like they looked at, because in the, the prequels with Yoda act being like a CG character and they <laughs> clearly wanted to go for the puppet direction here, <laughs> that they were like, well, we've got to make him look like a puppet even when he's clearly CG instead of just making him animate like a person. Well, in the, in the distant shot, Shots where he's moving around, that's the time where you have him be CG, and then in a lot of the close-ups and holding him or when he's just sitting well, around, they, no, they want that's him to where he's look a, like puppet. a puppet. Rags, that's the thing. They want him to look like a yeah, puppet. Yeah, it's to evoke people the, like uh, puppet, people the style. Like the puppets from the original. It's like, you know, sometimes it's okay to, like, use visual effects in a... <laughs> I'm sorry, it just looks like really awful. Everyone else. Like just to, look before really we go bad. on, guys, I'm gonna have to drop out. Unfortunately, I've uh, I've run out of time. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, I have a bit more rambling I want to do. But thanks for yeah, yeah. No, I was like, I'm going on for a while. Um, uh, but yeah, it was it was well, it was an experience watching this yes, with you guys. I'm so glad to have shared it with you. There's nobody else I would rather have <laughs> suffered through that with than you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Gee, thanks. See ya, dude. Yeah, catch right, you later. Bye, bye. See you later. I'm looking at it now. Yes, that's much more rambling to do. And the way that he moves, the puppet is like tipping back and over. You know what I mean? Like, it, like it, they can't fully mm. control it. They're having trouble with it. He's, he's like, he's, he's disbalanced. It's, it's, it's not quite right. It looks fucking hilarious. And as much shit as CG Yoda gets, they probably nailed most of the animation mm. from memory. Does CG mm. Yoda get like meaningfully get shit though? Because like I've never understood that. Like well, I've actually it's, never really understood. The argument the fundamentally was we don't want to see Yoda doing that shit. Uh, I don't think that's a great argument. No, I don't think so either. I just, uh, I feel like Mando is, is beating it out. Uh, and well, it's funny yeah. Be like, it's, yeah, but that's a puppet. It. It's like, okay. It is really interesting to think that, like, somebody could look at something like The Rise of Skywalker and go, this is bullshit, and then watch this and, and go, like, this is okay, when it's so similar in principle. Wait, a big it, fight between a million Mandos yeah. versus a million Stormtrooper It's the same thing. Mandos. And then, look, there's the Praetorian Guards, and look, there's the Darksaber, which, man, I'm so thrilled that that's, like, gone, and it doesn't exist anymore. He crushed that's, it with his awesome. hand. Does that mean yeah, if you had gripped it too crush. hard in the middle of a fight, you'd destroy it? I think it's because of his little robot parts, but then it's like, but why didn't it crush, <laughs> like, Bo-Katan's hand? Yeah, why I, didn't it? It, yeah. it made robot sounds. It makes robot sounds, right? It goes... Whoop, whoop, I know, whoop, but, like, whoop, whoop, how, whoop. how, what... Does he, is he a cyborg? No, I think it's meant to be like he's mechanically like, like sort of a, yeah. But then he should win these fist fights because he's going to be strong. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he still loses because he's on his own. It's like well, he wouldn't have been, but you killed all of his clones. I just well, his two strong ass hands have each other that they can use together yeah. as a team. To I can't actually so. see the difference between the visual of. 100,000 Star Destroyers and 100,000 Mandalorians flying It's around. the same thing. It's just that the Star Destroyers is, like, just incredibly retarded. Incredibly <laughs> retarded. <laughs> it's just really, really, really She really was stupid, hitting them with her hammer. She was flying around hitting them with her yeah, hammer. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. You're right. That's the peak. It, it, that's the end. That's critical mass of cringe for the for the blacksmith lady. Yeah, they did it. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything stupider than I that. I never thought that they would do that. I don't think for as stupid as this show is that I ever expected there to be a big epic battle at the end of like thousands of mandalorians flying around hitting each other with hammers yeah flying directly she's, into she's another also yeah. flying stormtrooper like we can't forget she's using her tongs as well the hammer is one thing but the tongs i just like, it's such a fucking parody it really does feel like a kid just throwing all of his toys at each other and like and then they do this yeah poo, poo. and look like he doesn't know what actual like saber. well yeah because it's, it's just the child like, doesn't understand what of... tactics are what military strategy is so a kid doesn't understand understand when he imagines really cool amazing warriors what they would actually be doing that's that's whatever right like if it's just a kid playing around with some toys and just imagining like a story but this is like a like, this is like a hundred million dollar production i mean it would be worthwhile <laughs> to put a little bit more thought into these set pieces it's not going to cost you anything to like make them more coherent what i i really didn't expect us to get this uh and simultaneously fully expected us to get this such a weird feeling i'm really surprised there wasn't a serious effort to bait the fucking audience with with all kinds of cameos and, and expectations of what's going to come next, but it almost feels like they were like, we've wrapped up Din Djarin, there's his story, cool, thumbs up. Now next season we're going to be making this all about like some other crazy thing. And he's going to carry uh, I, I think that is what's going to happen. That's the end of, of uh, Mando as, like, main character in the story. Because uh, Ahsoka like, really, will be... Really care about. Ahsoka will almost be pushing forward the continuity of the Mandoverse. Isn't it? She's next. Uh, now. Yes, she is next up. And I imagine that she'll be more central going forward. The fact forward. that you have Ray Stevenson, David Tennant, 
and several other like people in it makes me think like mm -hmm. surely there'll be a character right there's gonna be one yeah but it's the same it's dave filoni like executive and john favreau i've seen people say you should have hope because dave it's filoni writing like dave filoni looks like he has full control and it's just so funny to hear that what and he didn't have full control like here i don't think john they know favreau. that dave filoni and john favreau have nothing but like positive things to say about this no season. yeah if you if you see interviews with them with each other they're they're very much on the same page it would seem they like the um, show they think it's really good yeah <laughs> <laughs> the general reception to this season has not been good. Um, no. Like, by, no, I, by I, standards, Commando. My guess would be that Star Wars fans are not going to be happy with this finale either. I don't think so. What is in here that's, it's, that's the, like, actually... The problem is, I can be, imagine it going of, either way so easily. I've kind no, of been looking I, on, on Twitter just now to see if I find any, like, trends or anything at all. I found one Bo-Katan one, but just people just kind of fanning out about Bo-Katan and how cool everything is. But it's not a lot. Like, normally in, like, episode uh, season one and two, when... The episode dropped that day like it was just trending all day and people were like whoa awesome but i, I have yeah, a hard time actually anymore. finding something the more on, of a thing there is the less valuable like the individual yeah. the, the specialness of it is and that's a lot of what mando relies on yeah it's, there's no mando substance here it's just special. cool it's it was individual a, it was... it's unique look at him go look at that armor it's so yeah. fucking cool everything's so I fucking think, cool um, and it's like there's three seasons of this shit now that might yeah, actually be it's not even like... even even a, a cameo in here like no thrawn no nothing no, whatever the fuck. Yeah, and for the record, we Mando... don't actually want that. We're just saying. No, no, <laughs> it's just surprising because that's I'm what just... the fan base wants from Mando. I'm now thinking about the points that you guys brought up about like the dilution of uh, like Mando. Mando, I think maybe it coasted by it because it was the only Star Wars show. Mm. But now there's been a lot more of like this type of Star Wars show with the exception of Andor. Mando doesn't have anything unique going for it in terms of being a Star Wars, like a big budget Star Wars show anymore. That's gone. Yeah. So now it's like, well, you kind of almost have to compete against the expectations that people have that in some sense have been built up by the other stuff. And then also like, a, you know, relatively to the quality of those other shows as well, both the better one and the worse ones. Yeah. And like, you don't need to wait for Mando to get your sludge. You can just get the sludge every true. month so like, of, the, of the year. There's like something's going going on mando's always been bad but this definitely feels like it's more in the same type of bad as boba mm -hmm. fett and obi-wan or may maybe we're just seeing what's happening star wars is going through the same thing again that like marvel is going through right now of people mm. kind of like damn man like this really is pretty vacuous and like yeah. it's assembly line it's... production this one felt more assembly it's... line production than the other ones like the seams are a lot more obvious to me yeah maybe a low budget it's maybe kind of weird that in the beginning of the season, we didn't even really acknowledge that Grogu was just back. I don't think we got like basically anything. Oh my god, just, like, back. we're back uh, now. Uh, wow. They expect they you just to ex watch you know, the ep they just... episodes from Book of Boba Fett, I guess. Yeah, they just assumed they watched that, I, I guess. I'm actually surprised Boba Fett didn't show up in this show, yeah. like at all. Could have sworn. It's, it seems like such an easy way to, to get a cameo in there and would make quote unquote sense in, in yeah, the just have him stuff. that's what they usually do i don't understand yeah especially when he said oh i need someone that i trust or whatever it was when he got the ig unit it's like why don't you just call boba what's, what's happening i thought you were homies now i think as well this season comes across as rushed as fuck more so than the other ones as a chapter what? in the star wars legacy season four of the mandalorian when do you think it's coming out and what do we think <laughs> it's gonna be i'm really not sure at this point I don't know. Well, I guess the the question is 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 Pedro Pascal even going to be back? Are they, is he going to bother? And I don't think I, he will. I don't think he has any interest right now. I'm not sure. This ending is like He's on we pause. don't know what He's we're on pause. doing yes. right now, so yeah. we can put him here and we'll figure it out later. I don't think we're going to see another season of Mando for a while while they're trying to figure out what they're doing, especially you know with these plans for their Mando movie. I I, I don't think they figured it out yet. Well, the thing is, if they care for any continuity, they kind of have to make something that takes into account that the Mandalorians have like a whole planet with Beskar again. Which is uh, yeah, where were they in the sequels? Very, exactly. <laughs> That's very, very valuable. They kind of need something to destroy them or give them <laughs> yeah, very I hard. Yeah, I agree. We need to get yeah. fucking rid of these cringe lords. <laughs> yeah. Wipe the galaxy clean. <laughs> and now the Imperials know about it as well. Yeah, but they'll forget about it now because the base got blown up. But oh, okay. we will be seeing no way Moff Gideon's dead. He, he'll be back, but he'll be scarred. Yeah. The few tweets I saw, by the way, were like, ah, oh, Moff Gideon dead for good. It's like, why, why would you say that? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, indeed. Jeez. You don't have to watch um, Mando for a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Next uh, level. Is coming, is next. I'm sure. Joker and I'm sure next. that'll be better. <laughs> oh, when is that coming out? Too soon. Oh, August, is the I answer. Think. <sighs> yeah. Maybe um, Andor season two is not going to be shit. That would be nice. 
That would be nice. That would be really nice. It's our only hope. It is it our is. only hope. I have uh, the after Mando feeling right now. It's just like, ugh, just stinky. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anything else? I don't think there's anything to add. Stinky, stinky show. Bye. Yeah. Bye, see everyone. See around. Bye, everyone. Bye, yeah. bye. What'd you bring me?